All right, how is everybody doing today? So, uh, gotta make a small repair. Um, I don't know if y'all can see real well, but um, here quite a few months ago, I put these uh, lights on my bike. Um, and there's a piece inside there, you got a, a wire, and I'll show y'all it in a little bit that on your saddle bag right here that goes that goes into the uh that that's attached to this light and then there's another wire uh that hooks up under the seat and i'll show you all that and then with that um there's a mid a middle piece of wiring and somehow that wire got loose i hit a bump or something and it rubbed on the, the tire rubbed it and uh messed it up i was able to solder it and i got it to work but um it's uh whenever you're you're uh turn your blinker on um everything works exactly like it's supposed to but um on the dash the blinker blinks really fast so when you turn the the bike on turn the radio down so that way don't get any uh so if you you look right here it's a sequential turn signal so you see everything is just like it's supposed to um you look up here your turn signal there is flashing just like it's supposed to but if you look up here on the dash see how fast it's blinking so i'm gonna replace this middle wire and uh i'll pull it apart and show it to y'all what i'm talking about and uh hopefully that'll fix it all right so get started i'm gonna pull this off the back so. get my fingers on it the right way. There. So I have that off. So next thing I'm going to do is pull the saddlebags and what I've got is this little wire right here. Here pretty good right now. If you trace it through here. So what happened was this piece right here got loose somehow in there and there's only about that much distance but right there between the tire and the inside of the fender what happened was somehow this got loose it wasn't quite tight enough um, and the tire I guess it loosened up and rubbed right in here if you can see that so I was able to solder it back up and get it to work. Um, but now I've got to uh, replace this little midsection right here. So I uh, called Custom Dynamics. They uh, they sold me one, the part number, I had to look it up. So fix and unbox it. Hopefully this is the right one. Ordered one for both sides. They are interchangeable, except there's a different color wire. Just ordered one for a spare um one for both sides so so now i'm going to uh look at this and try to uh 
to get it put back on here and and uh, I'm gonna open it up and show y'all what it looks like so as you see here um, Advan Black they uh, they sent me this box I'm gonna open it up and uh, let's see what they sent me Look, there's a bunch of peanuts and stuff in there. They sent me some other things. So, hold on just. All right. So, y'all look here. So, this was packaged up. So, cover up my information. So, if you guys need some of this. So, this was. Um, from Custom Dynamics, pulled by Jesse, packaged by Aaron, inspected by Kim. So, if you look, this is the left side, four ninety five. The right side was four ninety five. So, if you get one in there, but shipping was eight fifty six. So it cost me twenty bucks for these two little wires. So, not too bad. Um, but it was a custom part order. Um, the part number for the QD bag. Uh, SEQ 13 is for the left side and the QD bag SEQ 13 uh, right side so um, get these out in just a minute uh, you'll be able to see the difference only difference is is, is uh, one of these has a purple wire um, and one of these has a brown wire so the purple right wire is your left side the brown wire is your right side um, but they were very, very easily, um, um, or very easy to deal with. Called up and talked to them, and, and uh, they took care of me pretty quick. So it appears that this is the, the right one. So i um, going to uh, open this up. I'm going to uh, pull these out. One I need is the is the uh, the purple wire. So this is the purple wire one. And I uh, put this one back in there. Uh, so I'll have a spare. So they they are interchangeable except for the wires are different colors. All right. So I'm gonna try to bring you guys in just a little bit closer. Um, it was also pretty uh, cool. They sent me some stuff for the road glide and then a product catalog. So, so if you go over here, uh, this is where this one plugs into and then I have to try to route my wires. Um, so I can get those in that way. So that's pretty easy. I'll try to reach up through here fish this down in in through here may have to there so I got it right there um, so I may end up zip tying that up in there but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I, I zip tie this thing up in here really well definitely don't want to uh to make the same mistake again so see if i can fish this in well maybe i might have to see if i can go in through here yeah Got that around there. Fish this wire up in here. Right now I'm just gonna kind of snug it up. I want to make sure I got plenty of wire where I need it. This can kind of stay back out of the way. 
get me one of these little wire ties. So, so wire ties are cheap. Um, I thought I had a had done a good job <laughs> uh, before this, but evidently I missed it um, getting it secured enough. So um, I'm just going to learn from that mistake. Get this wire tied back up in there. Gives me some some room. Um, got a pair of these little snips. Snip that off. Try to make sure I, I don't need too much slack right here, but I need enough. Um, and then this one right here, I can kind of still take up some of that slack right there. So, pretty easy job. So really all I did, if you can see, is I put me a little wire tie there. I plugged this in, brought it down here, plugged it in, and, and uh, now I'm gonna get my saddle bag, set it up here, and and see if my blinker's working the way it's supposed to. Um, if it does, I'll clean up, put the bike back together. So hold on just a minute. All right, everyone. So ready to put the bike back together now. And uh, be right. do this, get a little bit closer. Make sure the light still works. The light still works. All right. Oh. Then make sure to recheck your wiring. I want to make sure I got the slack out of that that I don't need. And it stays up here. Sissy bar back on. Hear those little clicks. Make sure your pins drop down. Um, Y'all can't really see all that well. There's some little pins right here. Um, I've had to put WD-40 on mine. Um, just because, 
what happens if you get it outside it gets rained on or whatever they'll want to rust up on you a little bit and not not snap out like they should a little jar and that's all that was so all right everyone well i hope this was a little bit informative these uh these lights were really easy to to put on i like the way they look um i will also do a uh a small video on how to uh if you look i've got the radio but i've done the antenna delete for free so uh i'll do a little video on that and post it and and show some of y'all how i done that and it really don't cost anything all right hope everybody has a good day